Hello, welcome to this lesson. Here we're going to learn how to apply uh, paragraph shading and borders, which can in some cases help uh, have your paragraphs or important information in a document pop off the page. Sometimes you just need something to grab attention. I mean, we could select this paragraph and bold it, you know, but that's kind of hard on the eyes, to be honest with you. We don't want to make it italics or anything. Sometimes that might work, but Anyway, we're trying to find ways to make this pop off the page. So you can select any paragraph you want. Go up to the paragraph area of the home ribbon, and you will see over here is a, when you hover over it, it says border. So if you go ahead and click the drop down menu, you can see that there are lots of different options. Now, for those of you who have used Excel or tables and other programs, this will look familiar to you. Um, when you go down here, you can see that we're getting, in this case, only a bottom border along the bottom part of this particular paragraph, so that's not terribly exciting. We also have a top border. We can do a left border. We can do a right border. Um, again, not too exciting because we don't actually have a table in this document yet. We'll talk about that later. Uh, we can go to no border, of course. If you do all borders or outside borders, then what's happening is it's basically encapsulating the paragraph in a uh, in a solid line. Now that's actually kind of cool. I mean, it's it, it's not terribly colorful. It's not terribly engaging as far as color and pizzazz, but it definitely gets the job done. It might draw your attention to the core of what I'm trying to say here, which was how you know the math business got started and how the tutoring sessions got started. So that's useful. Um, keep in mind though that underneath this border tab, almost all of these things down near the bottom, they're mostly used when we insert tables in the document that will have multiple cells. So we'll be able to add different kinds of borders to the cells. So if you hover over some of these and nothing happens, it's just because it doesn't apply. Let's go ahead and hit undo and remove that border. We'll keep this paragraph selected. If you go to the paint bucket tool, the one that's under the paragraph menu, then this is basically going to give you an opportunity to shade this guy. So if you start hovering over, uh, you know, this might be very subtle if you're printing in black and white, have a nice gray background, or if you're printing in color, maybe a nice light blue, maybe just something that's a little subtle, something like that, something like that, just to draw your attention to something that you might find important. Now, notice when you drop the paint bucket tool down, I've mentioned this before, the top part here is the theme colors. So if you end up using a theme in this document, which we will talk about later, if you select one of these colors and then you change the theme later on down the road, then these colors will change along with the new theme that you select. So if you think you're going to be using a theme later in the future, just go ahead and use one of these. Otherwise, you have access to every color under the sun, including millions of additional colors that you can select directly off of the color picker. Something like this seems to work for me. You can also mix them and put a border in addition to a shading. Now, I think that looks kind of cool. It's, it's telling you without throwing it in your face, uh, without being too you know loud, that this is important and you might want to go ahead and read that. So play around with shading and borders with paragraphs. It's something very easy to do right here on the ribbon menu.